Hey, it's Daps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial. In my last video, I talked about cloning the back end of a website and I made some things very clear in that tutorial that we clone front end resources. Anytime we talk about clone on this channel, I'm not talking about somewhere else, but literally, I made it very clear that it is impossible for you to clone the back end you don't have access to. So I said in that video that the only way you can clone the back end is when you have access to that backend whether it is a backend of the website or it is uh, in a page or it is in a post or membership whatever it is any page whatsoever at all that is not available uh publicly online uh there is a way you can clone them if you have direct access to them i might not have made it clear enough but i need you to know that this is just front end design in loan we are cloning we are not cloning the functionalities of the backend. It is impossible to clone the functionality. So if you are looking at cloning just the design of a backend of any page, inner page, membership page of a website that is not publicly available, I want to show you another method to get that done in this tutorial. Right on my screen here is software called Clone WebX. I've talked about this software quite a number of times on my channel. It's a fantastic tool. I love it. And it is a tool that can literally just help you clone any inner page or any backend page of any website. Feel free to check the video description for you to see a link to Clone Web X, and from there you would also see my promo code. You can also want to invest in them. It's a fantastic tool. It will bring you down here, so you can see their pricing plan. You can use it literally for free. However, it has some and limitations, and then you can go maybe a month, or you can go the yearly plan or the lifetime plan, whatever is convenient for you. Once you're here, you can just try the free or maybe invest for you to see how this work. Once you create an account, you can just literally just go to your hub. It should bring you down to a place like this, where you can create apps. So you can see I've done a lot of projects. So in your own case, you might not have all these projects that I've done here. You might have an empty or blank uh, project here section. You can just add a new project, then you will need to give you the project name and then you add the URL of the domain you want to clone. So a one domain is one project, that's how it works. So you can clone multiple pages from a domain, it's still one project. So that's exactly how it works with Clone WebX. But I want us to just clone the backend of a website. So if you're here, if you try to uh, maybe create a project, once you are done creating that project, it will give you the option for you to install their Chrome extension. I have done a lot of tutorials around this, so you can. I don't want to go into this right now. So once you click on that link to install their Chrome extension, you should have something like this here on your browser on your Chrome. And then we can come to the backend as well. And then once we log into our backend, for example, I'm on the plugins page of one of my WordPress websites here. So we can use this for experimental purpose. So I, I can launch uh, this WebX and then I'll select a project. So this is, since this is Dabs Brook, I have Dabs Brook here as a project and then I can add this as a page. So just like that, we have uh, the backend of our website literally cloned into Clone WebX here. We can do more if you come down to our far right here. You can see that we can do some things. First thing there is for us to select the element we want to clone. And then the next thing is for us to select the page builder. So you come around this uh, page here, you see that you can just move your mouse around to select whatever you want to do, whatever you want to clone rather. So right now you can see that uh, this has over the main page. So if I click on this, uh, you will see that we can select either the current selector or the previous selector. The current selector is whatever you have highlighted and the previous selector usually is the entire page. So how you can figure that out is by you uh, clicking on this eye icon here so it, it takes out whatever you have selected so that is exactly what is going to get cloned so if i toggle this back everything comes back on and then let's come back to our prayer selector let's click this so you see it takes everything out so this means this is the code for the element to copy the entire page so i'm going to select this and then we come to our page builder here so we can see here that this software works with elementor webflow bricks builder and then some other ones here are coming. I have got the best results using Bricks. So you might want to always check that out. But again, yeah, the Elemental works too as well. 
But if you are into WordPress, but I have seen the best results using Bricks. So I would want to use Bricks for this tutorial. I have also not gotten good results when I try to reduce the DOM size. I always don't get good results. So I leave this as is. I just come down here and hit the export button. And I can see here, copy to clipboard. In your case, if you are listening for the very first time, you can get a notification to allow from coming from Chrome to allow this software to have access to your keyboard. So you want to allow that and then this would happen. And then I can just come back here. I need to open a website I have, dabs. Let's do dabs.com. So I think I have Bricks installed on this WordPress site. So let's come to the back end. Good stuff. So you can see Bricks is installed here. So let's just come to page. Let's come to add new. I can just call these dabs. This is just for tutorial purpose. So let's edit this with bricks. Uh, good. So what I need to do here is just do control V, which is to paste uh, whatever we have copied. Bingo. Just like that. You can see here, we now have this embedded into WordPress. How super cool is this? This is the back end here. And I think this is quite very amazing. Just like I said, this is not you copying WordPress. This is you copying just the design. So this might come in very handy. Maybe if you want to display a certain backend or front end for users to see. Or you just want to do certain things while well, clone, and then you want to bring uh, certain things are just cloning and then displaying. So you can check this out. So but most times when you do this, you might get some excessive clone that is not needed. So you might want to, like this D right now is literally empty. I don't know why it's here. You can just literally just delete it. Uh, so just like that, this two is empty. Whatever you want to do, really, you can just do. You can review your website to see exactly what this looks like. That's it. So you can make edit inside of WordPress. This is not a perfect uh, clone here. Most times I get extremely perfect clone when I make use of this software. But that's just letting you know that no software is hundred percent accurate. So once in a while you have uh, things like this, so you might just want to go back to WordPress, uh, go to Bricks and just re-edit this page to suit your style. And that's it. That's my time for this tutorial. You can just go experiment with Clone WebEx. You can check the video description. You'll see a link to Clone WebEx. You will also see a coupon code. You can experiment and give it a try and let me know your results in the comment section. If this video has been super useful to you, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues at all whatsoever, let me know in the comment section. I'll check out for them. Uh, subscribe so that you don't miss out on further tutorials from me. And I'll see you another one. Until then, stay safe.